You rule by your resistless might. Will rebel mortals dare provoke the eternal to and tempt that dreadful war? Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me. This is Ninth Prayer for Monday, April the 15th, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 15, and 1 John chapter 3, verse 19, to chapter 4, verse 6. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, my God, who shall abide in your tabernacle? Who shall dwell on your holy mountain? Alleluia. Psalm 15. Alleluia, my God, who shall dwell in your tabernacle? Who shall dwell on your holy mountain? They that walk uprightly, and work righteousness, and speak the truth from their hearts. They that slander not with their tongues, nor do evil to their neighbor, nor take up a reproach against their neighbor, in whose eyes an evil person is condemned, but honors them that fear you. They that swear to do no wrong, and keep their word. They that put not their money to usury, nor take bribes against the innocent. They that do these things shall never be moved. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, my God, who shall abide in your tabernacle? Who shall dwell on your holy mountain? Alleluia. The lesson is from the first letter of John, chapter 3, beginning at verse 19. And by this we will know that we are from the truth, and reassure our hearts before him, whenever our hearts condemn us. For God is greater than our hearts, and God knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have boldness before God, and we receive from God whatever we ask, because we obey God's commandments and do what pleases God. And this is God's commandment, that we should believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another, just as he has commanded us. All who obey his commandments abide in him, and he abides in them, and by this we know that he abides in us by the spirit that he has given us. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the spirit of God, every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. And every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, of which you have heard that it is coming, and now it is already in the world. Little children, you are from God, and have conquered them, for the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. They are from the world, therefore what they say is from the world, and the world listens to them. We are from God. Whoever listens, whoever knows God listens to us, and whoever is not from God does not listen to us. 
and from this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh God, give us courage to make our vows and the strength to fulfill them, that we may ever abide with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia, O oh, tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. Alleluia. And the Almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs>